Hey everybody, it's Joe. So I just wrapped up recording the video for the new makerspace that I am working in. Ah, isn't this place wonderful? And uh, now I want to give you guys a little bit of a behind the scenes on how that video was made. So the first thing you need to do is watch that video and it is not on my channel here. It is on the new makerspace channel for, for the Washington Library District. So I will link to that in a card boop, right there. And you can go ahead and watch that and then come back and watch the rest of this. So I'm going to trust you. Have you seen it? Did you come back? All right, cool. So that video, how did I do that little round and round thing? I wanted to show you the setup that I had done for that. And it's right here. What are we looking at here? We have got a, a camera on a tripod on a pumpkin master spinner that I bought on clearance after Halloween and it just rotates at a constant rate. There's nothing you can do about it. It's even got a little light on it to light up your pumpkin, but that doesn't affect the film at all. But originally I put this on a trash can on a chair. That wasn't tall enough. So I had to add a little bin that is full of wooden dowels and stuff right there. So what's the lesson here? Well, the lesson here is you know, if you're just doing a one-off thing and you just just try to get it out, how it looks behind the camera doesn't matter. Now, the other part that made this video work was the microphone, the the, the audio setup. Now, I, I, it's nothing fancy, but I owe this to you guys. Okay, this lav mic was purchased on a recommendation from commenters like you and purchased with Patreon money or direct support money. Uh, so. Yeah, I owe you guys entirely for this. So what I did is I took this mic, I plugged it into my phone, and then I stuck the phone in my pocket. You'll hit hit go on both of the phone and the camera at the same time and recorded the video, and then I'm going to sync those up and edit and, and put it on. And you know, the funny thing about that video is with the background moving at a constant rate and the foreground moving at a constant rate, I'm told that if you put like sunglasses over one eye, you get a 3D effect with that video, so I'm going to try that out too. Maybe you guys can go back and watch it. Anyways, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Check out my new maker space. I mean, it's not mine, but it's kind of mine. So, uh, I hope you guys will check it out. And as always, well, you know what? I may add something to my tagline in 2018. I may add, go make something of yourself, guys. And remember, safety first. Do you want to know more about 3D printing but don't know where to start? Or did you buy a 3D printer but you need some help getting it going? Don't panic. The Beginner's Guide to the 3D Printing Galaxy is here, now, for you. Buy it on Amazon.